welcome back. Um, here's an update on Junkyard RC Car Project. I have my A-arms done, my front knuckle done too, so it's fully moving now. It's the same exact thing on the 12423 or 12428 YWL toys. It's just I got these off Thingiverse and I kind of made them so they're completely solid. I said I like the mesh pattern on there. Um, Basically, what we're doing is taking the front suspension off, off this, but making it better so it can travel further, further travel. And we're, I'm going to get the same exact axle as the back of this, and that's really it. I'm just using what I know works for the front, and I'm just using an easy and cheap to get axle for the back. I might get metal gears for this, but this seems to be holed up just fine on this this crazy speed vehicle, so I'm not going to need that yet. I have both of them done. Um, I'm going to get 80 millimeter shocks for the front and 120s for the back. I'm going to be using the same type of arms for the back though, but it's going to be lower to the ground than this. It'll be more like here. Just be pretty high off the ground, but not terribly high. Um, as you can see, it's bent in the front, and I'm plotting out um, how to cut around this. I might take my plasma cutter at school and cut this so I can get a drive shaft through there, kind of like that. But my gearbox will be off to the side. It'll be basically a all reverse to how this is. Basically, a servo in the front, gearbox here, battery here, and that's it. Um, right now, it fits my big 5000 milliamp hour 2S light bulb, which I just got. It also fits big nickel metal hydrides, but those are just for the uh, red cat stuff. Um, I might use these shocks for the back and get more like this. They're really nice aluminum bodied thread shocks, but uh, they work on this okay. I changed them out. Um, yeah, I am going to be starting to print the uh, shock holder for this, and I'm going to test out with some 100 millimeter shocks and see if that works better. Um, but if it's if it droops down too much, I, that won't work. So we're going to get that going today. Um, that should be done by next week, having it all installed and then um, linking up with a servo, but not the servo that's going to be on here, just a test one. Um, yeah, these are ball bearing too. I just have ball bearings that fit in there. The same size as the ones that are in here, so that works. I'm gonna get some nice, um, mild off road tires. Uh, basically, uh, um, steely rims based looking style for this, and like the off road tread type thing. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make this as cheap as possible. I'll show you guys how cheap this is. Right now, I have about technically $25 in, but this isn't even for this car, so I can't count that yet. Basically, all the equipment um, that I'm going to be putting on here. I will include the radio I'm going to use, not this one, my um, Fly Sky. And right now, that's $25, and I kind of told up the list on Amazon for what I got to order, and it's around $80, but I'm trying to make it even cheaper than that. So, see you guys in the next video.